In this video, I'm going to show you how to store your Cardano or ADA safely on any Ledger hardware wallet. You can use Ledger Live for this, which I'll show you how to do, but you cannot stake with it yet at the time of this video. So I recommend using Yoroi wallet. Yoroi, Yoroi? Yoroi, Yoroi. That's such a tough word for me to say. But this is one of the most popular and user-friendly software wallets for Cardano, which of course you can hook up to your Ledger device for increased security. I'll show you how to set all that up on both your computer and your phone for you Nano X users. This will work for any Ledger device. So the S, the S Plus, and the X and you can find a link to all of these down below. If you're not sure which one to get, check out my Ledger Nano S Plus review, which goes over a comparison of all three devices. I also made a short slash TikTok if you want a quicker version of that. While the X is my preferred device, I'm also going to show the S Plus because I want to do this from a clean slate. So there's a couple things you'll need. First, you gotta set up your Ledger device and I'll link my full setup guide up here and down below. You will also need the Yoroi browser extension and or mobile app. Again, link will be down below and please be careful with this. There's lots of fake websites and wallets and if you want it to be 100% safe, only use the link in this video. So next, of course, you'll need Cardano to fund your wallet. We will use Coinbase for this and I'll show you how to send it to your ledger on both your computer and your phone. If you wanna learn how to get the most out of the Coinbase platform, check out the guide up here and down below. I'm still wearing this so you guys don't have to see the stitches from my surgery. So again, if you appreciate the physical pain I went through to make this video, I'd appreciate you smashing the like button to help me feel a little bit better. Let's get right into it. All right, so here we are in my computer. The first thing that we're gonna need to do is install the Cardano app. So we're gonna go down and click on manager. So then you'll see that it's gotta say connect and unlock and my ledger was already connected and unlocked. So then it would ask me to bring up the manager. So what I would do is just double click there. It will allow me access into the ledger manager here. All right, so now you can see all of the apps that you can install in the app catalog. So we're going to scroll down obviously because we want Cardano. And then you can just go ahead and click the install button here. You can see I already have it installed, but this is what the install button would look like. So you just click that and it will be installed. Easy as that. So then if you want to add an account, what you can do is go ahead and click add account here, or you can go into the accounts menu on the left side over here in Ledger Live, and then click add account. So now it's going to have us choose the asset. So we're just gonna type in ADA or Cardano, either way it'll pop up. Then you click Cardano. So then when we click continue, it's going to ask us to open the Cardano app. So I'm just gonna go ahead and double click on this and it's gonna synchronize. Okay, so then it'll ask you to name it. So you can name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna call this Cardano One and then Ledger Nano S Plus because that is the device that it's hooked up to. You don't have to do it like this. You can call it whatever you want, but that's just my way of doing it. So then I'm gonna go ahead and click add account. And then you'll see it says account added successfully. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and click done here. So now to see your address, you go ahead and click on the Cardano uh, account that you just added and then click receive. So then it's gonna pop up here. Uh, we obviously want to uh, look at the Cardano One Ledger Nano S Plus that we just added. So then we'll click continue. Okay, now it's gonna ask us to verify the address. So we're just going to double click here, double click again, double click again. All right, now here is the address. So we just wanna make sure that that matches and looks like it does. So then we're going to double click again and then double click one last time, and there we go. So that is the address, and again, if you wanna go back and copy it, you just go ahead and click re-verify, um, and then you can either click this QR code to have it pop up with a QR code that you can then scan with your phone, or you can just copy the address right here. So as you can see, that's now copied. All right, so now we are in this screen. So obviously, we're gonna be connecting to a hardware wallet, so let's go ahead and click that tile. So click that, uh, pick a currency, obviously it's Cardano. And obviously again, we're using the Ledger hardware wallet. So let's go ahead and click that. And we wanna go ahead and use a standard wallet here. So click that. And then it's just gonna give you some prerequisites here. And you might notice here that it says Ledger Nano S or X. It doesn't mention the S Plus, but I promise the S Plus works. I've already tried this. So let's go ahead and click next. And now we'll go ahead and click connect. 
Okay, so again, it'll come up with another pop-up and it only says S or X, uh, but again, this doesn't matter. It does work with the S Plus and I'll show you now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click the S and you'll see up here it says connect to the HID device and it says Ledger Nano S Plus right here. Click this and then click connect. And then on the device, it's going to ask me to confirm or export two keys. Double click here. And then back on the computer, it'll ask you to name the wallet and you can name it whatever you want. I'll just keep it as your Roy Ledger. Um, so then we'll go ahead and click save. All right, so then it's gonna load for a little bit and you'll see that you are now in your wallet. All right, so now that we are in the account, we're going to send some Cardano from Coinbase into our wallet. So let's go ahead and open Coinbase. So we're in Coinbase and I obviously have an account and if you need help with setting up an account and learning how to use it, I suggest watching my Coinbase guide one more time. It's gonna be up here and down below. But anyway, I'll click sign in. Okay, so now that I am in Coinbase, I'm going to send the Cardano from this now. So we're gonna go ahead and click send and receive. It's gonna load. So you can either choose the dollar amount, so you can do like $10, or you can choose the amount of Cardano, um, which so it'll, it'll just convert it back and forth like that. Um, I know how much I wanna send in Cardano, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it like this. And I'm going to send um, 11 Cardano because 10 is the minimum that you need to stake. And um, obviously you need some Cardano to pay transaction fees as well. Um, I believe you could just do it with 10, but I'm gonna play it safe with 11 just in case. I already have the address pasted in here from when we were doing it in Ledger Live, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that in your Roy. So we'll flip back to your Roy. We're gonna click receive. And then there is the address right here. And you can actually add new addresses if you wanted to. You know, for privacy reasons, it'll all hook into the same account, but I'm just gonna keep this simple and just use this one address. Click uh, this uh, copy right here and you know, if you do compare it, you'll notice that it is indeed the same one in Ledger Live. So anyway, we'll flip back to uh, Coinbase. We'll go ahead and click uh, again, just click this to field just to make sure that it is right. And we're gonna go ahead and paste the address in. Um, you can add an optional note if you want. I'm not gonna bother with that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and click continue. Okay, and then you'll see that I am sending about $5 worth of Cardano. There is the address, the first four and the last four digits. Again, you might wanna verify that it's the right one. Um, payment time is gonna be less than five minutes. And uh, the network fee is going to be about 0.18 Cardano. And then so if you do the math between the two, that's about nine cents. So pretty cheap to use the Cardano network and that's one of the benefits. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and click send now. Now it's gonna ask me for my uh, verification on my authenticator, so I'm gonna go ahead and type that in. All right, and there we go. The 11 Cardano has been sent. It says this transaction usually takes less than five minutes. So we will go ahead and flip back to your Roy and watch for it to come in. All right, so about, uh, what was that? Probably 20 seconds later, the, uh, the 11 Cardano has now arrived in my wallet. So to do the staking that I was briefly talking about earlier, um, what you'd go ahead and do is go into delegation list here, and then you can pick any one of these. Uh, you might wanna do your research a little bit on the uh, validators, but you can pick one of these, then you click delegate, then you can click the amount. Uh, so there's gonna be some fees associated with it, and then you can click delegate. So that's how you do staking, and I'm going to cover this more in depth in a separate video. So now let's hop into our phone so that I can show you how to do this on the mobile app. All right, so here we are on my phone. I have Ledger Live open, and again, the first thing that we wanna do is install the Cardano app on our Ledger Nano X. And again, you can only do this on mobile with the Ledger Nano X because of its Bluetooth capabilities. All right, so again, I'm gonna swap out the Ledger Nano S Plus, because we can't use it for this, and I'm going to put in the Ledger Nano X. So first things first, again, we're gonna install the app, so what you do is you click My Ledger in this bottom right corner here, um, then you're going to select your device. Now first, we have to enter in the pin on the device to wake it up so that it can actually connect. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so I have unlocked the device, there you go. So now I'm gonna click select your device now on my phone. So that is the Nano X, this guy right here. All right, so now on the Ledger device, it's going to say allow Ledger Manager. So we're gonna go ahead and double click here. So that's going to allow us to open the manager on our phone. Okay, there it is. And if you scroll down, it should be one of the top ones again, like you just saw. 
Um, but you'll see this Cardano app, uh, Cardano Ada app right here. So then you can see I already have it installed, but if you did need to install it, you just click the plus button, just like it says near uh, Ripple XRP, for example. So then once that's installed, then you can go back out to your wallet and then you can click, so under assets, it says see all. So go ahead and click see all. And then what you wanna do is click this plus sign in the upper right hand corner. And then you wanna create this with your ledger. You can also sync this from your desktop if you've been doing that too. You can click the second option and then basically scan a QR code. But again, I'll show you this straight from scratch. So we'll just do with your ledger. Um, again, we're gonna search for ADA. You can also type in Cardano, either one will pop up. Then you click that. So now it's going to have me open the Cardano app on the device. So then you just, again, it'll just do that automatically for you and you just double click. Okay, so now that that is open, it's going to load on the phone and it's gonna sync. And so again, now you can see that I have added my uh, Cardano. You can see I already have an account here. I can go ahead and add this second one and I can also go ahead and add this third one if I wanted to, but I don't need it. Um, and you see it's prompting me here. So I could edit the name. I'm not gonna do that. So I'm just gonna make sure that is selected and I'm gonna click continue. And all right, so it says the asset has been successfully added. So let's go see your asset. Um, so it's gonna show up with Cardano here. And of course, um, I just added the second one. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And then if I wanted to see the wallet address, I can just go ahead and click receive. So then it's gonna have me go through the verification process for the address. So now you'll see that it's going to have me verify it on the device. So I'm gonna go ahead and click continue. And so there's the address. So what you can do is just click copy address if you want, or there's the QR code again. Um, but you know, make sure that the address that's shown here is the same one that's going to be shown here on the device as well. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and double click, double click, double click. All right, so there's the address and just a quick scan. Yep, that looks right. Um, so that you're gonna double click and then double click one last time. All right, cool. So there is the verified address and it is in our clipboard as well. So again, you can't actually stake within here. If you go back out, there's no option to stake. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and sync up this to the Uroi app. So once again, head to the link down below and install the Uroi mobile app you know, from the app store. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to that now. All right, so when you first install Uroi, this is gonna be completely blank and it's just gonna have this add wallet button here. Um, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we'll just click that anyway. You're gonna see the exact same thing. So click that. And then we're going to connect to Ledger Nano. So click this bottom option here. So we're gonna go ahead and click connect with Bluetooth. And then this is just gonna tell you to make sure that it's on and connected and the app's installed, yada, yada. We've already done that, so we'll click continue. Now it's going to reach out via Bluetooth to the device. All right, so for some reason it wasn't showing up, so I just had to do one of these and then pop back in and that solved it, but you might have to close out the app and reopen it. Um, but go ahead and click the Nano X button right there. Um, so then it's gonna have you come up with a wallet name. So, you know, you can keep it as my Ledger wallet, uh, Ledger, oh, all right, I already have that wallet, Ledger 2, <laughs> real creative. Um, so then once you have it named correctly, or whatever you want it, then you can go ahead and click save. All right, so then you'll see your wallet displayed in the app. So let's go ahead and click that Ledger 2 that we just created. Then it's gonna load the wallet and boom, there we go. So now you'll see that it's populating my Cardano wallet. And then if you want to receive into this wallet, you would just go ahead and click receive. And then there's your QR code. And then here is your address. Um, so, you know, you can, again, you can add more addresses if you want to the same wallet, but you know, you can just go ahead and click, uh, you know, the copy button here. All right, so now that we have seen that address, let's go ahead and send some Cardano from the Coinbase mobile app. So I'm gonna hop in there now. So now that I'm in the Coinbase app, it should just start you out right at the home screen. So if not, you can just go ahead and click that in the lower left corner. Um, and then obviously what we wanna do is send the Cardano. So we're just gonna go ahead and click send. So then it'll have you choose uh, the coin that you wanna send. And obviously we're gonna do ADA and you'll send that. And again, uh, you can send a dollar amount. So, you know, you could send a dollar amount or you could send the Cardano amount. And again, you need a minimum of 10 in order to stake on Cardano. So I'm just gonna go ahead and send 10 again. Actually, I'll send 11 just to be safe because I want that extra Cardano to pay for transaction fees. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and send 11 again. We'll click continue. Now it's going to ask me for the address. So again, we had just copied it from Uroi, but if you didn't, if you didn't do that, you can just go back into Uroi, 
you click this copy button right here. Um, you see these guys right here, you click the copy button, then you head back into Coinbase, and then you'll say paste from address. So that you can just click that right there, and then preview send, and there we go. So now you can see that, you can see the total sent and received with the network fee. And so the network fee is actually, again, only nine cents, so that's pretty good. So we'll go ahead and click send now. So now it's gonna ask me to do the 2FA, so I'll do that real quick. All right, so now you'll see I have sent the Cardano successfully to the address, and now we'll just wait for it to come in. All right, so that was quick, that was just a few seconds later, and you'll see that I have received that 11 Cardano. And again, if you wanted to stake that Cardano, you can just go into dashboard, and then go to staking center. And you'll see that I'm already staked, but then you can just go into here and then select a validator and then stake your Cardano with them. But again, I'm gonna cover that in a separate video. So that's it. There is everything you need to know about storing your Cardano safely on your ledger. Let me know if you have any thoughts on this down below. I'm happy to help. And I'm also working on a Cardano staking guide. If this video helped you at all, I'd appreciate you smashing the like button and might as well subscribe while you're down there too. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and get your free crypto, stocks, and money using the links down below. Have an awesome rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy.